Hi, my name is John. I'm uh, here to show you today how we created a program to make this robot write 1, 3, and 5 on a piece of paper. And what we did here is uh, we created three individual programs. Each one, the 1, the 3, and the 5, both had a home position at the beginning and a home position at the end. So when we combine them all with a call program, you have two home instructions between the 1 and the 3 and the 3 and the 5. I'm going to show you how we corrected that. Uh, we used a uh, position registry, which is basically kind of like a, like a memory uh, slot on a calculator. Since we're going to use the same position at the beginning of our 1 and at the end of our 5, telling the robot where to start from and where to end, we created a registry so that that same point can be used at the beginning. So we had to use the replace command when we're, uh, when we're replacing our, our, our motion speeds from 100 millimeter per second to 250 millimeter per second. Because at first when we write the program, we want the, ro the robot to move slowly so we can test everything out. When we actually are writing the numbers, we want it to be as, in as fast as production speed as possible, so we just use the replace command to change all of our speeds in one function. I'll show you that in just a second. And uh, we also had to delete our home positions. So if you want to come on over here, I'll show you what, what we did to do that. <clears throat> here you can see an example of the home position at the beginning of the number one in our three-part program. So what we're going to do to delete that is we're going to go up to edit command, go down to delete, delete the line, yes. Now we've deleted that home position. We've got a registry at the beginning of our call program which is going to call this as the first of the three programs. So we don't need a home position at the beginning of this program. It's included with the registry in our, in our uh, call program that calls all three numbers. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to replace the speed in our, in our program number three. I've already set that to our test speed, which was slow. You see 100 millimeter per second. So to change that, we're going to go up to Edit Command. We're going to select Replace. What do we want to replace? We want to modify the motion. Hit Enter. We want, to re we want to replace the speed, so we select that. We're, we're going to select unspecified type, so it changes the speed for all joint, linear, and continuous motions. All right. And we have to select again uh, what source speed type, and that's the speed value that we want to change. And what kind of speed value do we want to change? Millimeters per second. Select that, and uh, we want to select speed value again. And now we want to enter the speed value. I'm going to enter 250. Hit enter. Modify OK. Yes, I want to, want to, I want to modify all the lines. We're going to hit F2. And you can see it just changed all the motion speeds to 250. So, now we've, we've deleted our home position. We've changed our motion speeds. And I told you how we use the motion registers. So, now okay, we're ready to run, we actually run our program. I'm going to show you how to use the call function. We've added programs 1 and 3 already in our call program, our master program, which we're calling JHF135. I'm going to show you how we called up program number 5. So, what we're going to do is we're going to hit instruction. We're going to go down to the call feature. We're going to call a program. Now we select the name of the program. So all we gotta do is scroll down, and you can even just hit number eight to go down fast. We'll hit number eight again for the next page. Now we see JHF number five, that's what we want. We're gonna select that, hit enter. Now we got our program number five called in our master program. Okay, folks, we're going to watch our program run now at 100% rate of speed. We've set it up to loop, it just keeps on doing it over and over again. And then to stop it, simply hit the hold button. Thanks for watching.